Prophet even told us of his fitna that with the Dajjal he will have with him paradise and hellfire. And so when people see his paradise, he will have a river of flowing water and a river of fire. Prophet says that you should take from the river of fire, not from the river of flowing water. And he will call himself Allah, and the people will believe him. He will come across a land which is a desert land and says, Believe in me, they will believe in him. So he will say, O oh, sky, bring down your rain, and the sky will rain. And growth will occur, vegetation. And he'll come across a people who, and they will say to them, Oh people, believe in me. And they will disbelieve in him. So he'll say, your land become desert and the land will become desert. And likewise, when he comes by land, the gold and the silver and the treasures of that land will come out behind him. Like bees, flying, worker bees. And likewise, he will come to a Bedouin and say to him, would you believe in me if I bring your father and mother alive? And he'll say, yes. He said, point me to their graves. So point him to their graves. And he'll say, come out. And two jinns will go in and come out and appear. And then he will, they'll say, I believe in you. And from his fitness, the Prophet ﷺ said that there will be two angels accompanying him, resembling two prophets. And so when Dajjal comes to people and saying, I am Allah, one of the angels will say, you have lied. The other angel will say, concerning the angel who said, you lied, this angel has spoken truth. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not allow the people to hear that angel who says, you lied, to what he says. And so therefore the people will hear one of the angels say, you spoke truth. So they'll think, because these angels will appear in the form of two prophets, they'll think that one of these prophets of Allah is now confessing and testifying that the Dajjal is truly Allah. Most of his followers will be Jews. And also people who do not speak Arabic. And also women. And also Bedouins. Somebody might ask, why would non-Arabs? Why would women? Why would Bedouins follow him? Because usually when people do not know Arabic, they don't have enough religious knowledge. Usually women, we don't spend enough time teaching our sisters, so there's a lack of religious knowledge. And with Bedouins, likewise, because they are Bedouins not living in the cities, typically they do not have enough religious knowledge. And so these will be his followers. So much so that women will come out and follow him, that a man will go into his household and tie his wife, tie her, and his mother, and his daughter, and his sister, and his aunt, because he will be afraid that she will go out and follow him. Oh, oh, oh.